Here is another way to rear out a Texana. Here we have a probably one and a half gallon fish tank. So what it is, we got a water heater, 78 degrees. Fill up the water line, and then you get yourself a clay pot. And then also you're gonna want some water flow. So there's a, just a pump moving the water around, the clay pot. Then you're gonna wanna put your Atta. The light is optional. Atta inside some sort of container like this. Then, so these right now are eating um, what is it? Dried, dried rose petals, this brand right here. And you're gonna wanna just, so it's nice and humid in here, as you can see the condensation is everywhere. You don't want it to get to where it's too condensated inside the actual nest. So to do that, basically just, you open up the hatch every once in a while to allow ventilation. So here's the actual colony I've got going right now. There's a trash pile right there. And so it's really not as humid as it shows. It's just because um, the flash is on, but yeah, they're doing well. So these all, so this was actually, these six queens are from a recent flight, but then I gave them some workers and then this fungus was actually half this size about a week ago. And it's doing really, it looks like it might be a little wet. So that means I need to increase the ventilation. But besides that, this is probably one of the more effective ways to uh, rear them. And I have flu on around the outside. So there's no water droplets actually on the flu on that's on the other side. But usually the ants will all just stay in here and forage and whatnot. So what I might do is I might actually put a screen mesh circle on the top of this to allow for uh, better ventilation. But if we open it, hold on, set the camera down. If we open up the lid and get a look at the inside of the nest, you can see it's pretty good. Fungus is healthy. Uh, we got some new, looks like they added to the fungus and over here in this corner, they're building it up. You can see all in there, that's all new additions. I'm not sure what the larva pile is. It's probably under in the fungus somewhere. 